I do want to feel positive about myself though one day. Like, alright, you did it. Nothing's wrong with you. You okay to walk this earth? You not a bad person, you not someone who's fucking it up. I'm just curious on the man that I'm gonna become. I think I grew out of liking music, like, the love for it. But it's like, it's therapy. It's the only way I can express myself. And as I sit down behind the mic and just let things flow out of my mouth, I feel relieved. Man, I was flooded with millions of dollars from the time I was 16 all the way to this point in my life. And I woke up one morning and I was like, damn. They got me. Man, look at the shit I spoke about. Look at the shit I put in these people's ears. Man, I feel very wrong about a lot of things. How many lives I actually am responsible for when it comes to my music? How many kids and people have gotten in the car or put this shit in their ears and actually went hurt someone? And now I'm sitting back like, damn, I can't do it all in one day. But I promise to clean whatever I can clean, but it's going to take time. I actually want to get rid of all of these cars. I can't drive any of them. I think I'd rather just fill my garage with antique cars until I do get a little freedom where I can double back and purchase some of these while I can have my fun in. <laughs> and that's my accountant, Miss Quintina, making sure I handle the money I was blessed with properly. I can feel when he needs me to be that. And so that accounting hat, I take it off when he needs me to be human, when he needs somebody to talk to. Whatever he needs me to be, that's what I am for him. Well, my grandmother was my everything. That was my protection, my comfort. This is my angel, my protector. So as she died, I seen like just this very big difference inside everything. Like he got a big heart. Like he love people. Like if he love you, he love you. You know what I mean? <laughs> One of his good friends brought him over to me. And after one session, he was just like, man, he doesn't really mess with nobody, but he like you. He's like, I don't know what that is. So it was just kind of natural, like, just our chemistry and our bond just kept growing and kept growing. And I consider him a brother. I'm not famous. I don't think about it. I just have a lot of people that know me, I guess. I'm terrified of people. I am very scared of people, like all my kids. I am terrified of people, and I am very shy. But I never knew why once I walk on the stage, I could get it done and leave. But I am terrified of people. People are cruel. It's like we can't control ourselves. So you never know what someone will do you. I always, you know, knew what he was doing and what he had going on and his music and his buzz and and I was impressed with what he achieved being from where we're from. And I mean they, they are some of the hardest working people in the music business. I think his legacy will be himself. He's not going to be compared to anybody. He's setting the tone and standing out by his work ethic. I always wanted to be a rapper. This was always my dream. I never had a plan B. This is what I was set 
on becoming. That's what it was. Can't be on top forever, you know. There's always to be another artist, but there'll never be another young boy. I will not be provoked. I will not be broken, and I'm not going back to where I used to be. Accept it or not, I ain't going back. I only get more groovy from here. That I walk out this door, it's gonna be a whole lot of doing.